the visual elements that we were trying to include in the development of this ship were right from the architectural drawings and then into the plans and into the white box, looking at camera angles, then looking at lighting, looking at the atmospherics, the suspense and the claustrophobic feel that we wanted to develop. It was very difficult to understand what a ghost ship of this nature would look like after 60 years. There's not a lot out there. And looking at research for how ships rust and decay and age, we took this and exaggerated those feelings and atmospheres to create what we wanted for our ship. In order to make the ghost ship sound as real as possible, uh, the team gained access to a similar era military vessel, big steel ship, and we recorded all sorts of sounds on there from uh, all the latches on the doors to help the foley, the character contacting with the environment when they're on the ghost ship, all of the atmospheres in the different rooms, the engine room, all the different mechanisms available there. We even recorded impulses of each of those rooms so that each room has the identical environmental reverb that we would have had on a ship at that time. When we're looking to light the ghost ship environment, it's really important that the tone and atmosphere that's coming from the lights also complement the story that we're trying to tell. It's not always a nice place to be, so everything just can't be well lit and visible, but we want to make sure that we're guiding the player around those environments in a satisfying way, as well as transmitting the mood that we want them to feel when they're in there. So we looked at doing things like breaking holes in the roof, breaking holes in the wall, where ambient light can kind of leak in and fill a little bit of the environment. But as well as that, sometimes we need to have spotlights and cinematic lighting, such as you would on a film set, in order to make sure that the characters look suitably heroic, menacing, scary, or whatever the scene required. 